and I worked lots of children developing school grounds and creating mini havens which could be organic allotments, wildlife gardens. We are trying to make our school super green, we're even getting a, su a green roof. We made insect houses by using reusable bottles and we tied them together with a string and so we um, set them near the bushes so the insects could have a nice home. This is the uh, insect habitat which we've built, uh, yeah, which for children use mainly in science if they're studying habitats or mini beasts. They can come in here, we can lift it off, we can see which uh, little animals and which insects use to uh, use this as their homes. All the work I do involves the children um, because I want them to learn about nature and become more respectful of their natural environment. We have different types of gardens and different themes. I think I'll have a garden when I'm older. There's frogs, fishes, tadpoles. We come here to talk about stuff. We like, I liked about the plants and the trees. We used to come out here and do science and it was easy because we could see the plants and like describe how they are. Um, the garden has an effect on, on the whole curriculum, but particularly on science. When the trees arrived, we helped put them in the soil and helped make these. At Pools Park, I've set up an e-team, an environment team, and there are about 40 children involved in this. At the moment, the green team consists of children uh, representing year three to year six. We're meeting every Thursday after school for, a, for an hour, which gives us enough time to, to plan projects and start running projects and organising things are much better. One lunchtime, the green team and some volunteers um, come out in their own time at lunchtime and had a big clear up room and like, tidied the garden and picked up all the litter around the playground. They've got a real sense of community being in the green team, helping to look after the school and feeling like they're doing their little bit to make it a nicer place and having a say about what goes on as well. Children are usually very good at telling you what's wrong or what's right, you know, so you're kept up to date with everything. We're having problems with the door so we're gonna try do our best to fix that and when children need to come in and out they have to open it they have to open or close the doors themselves so those children then create their own badges and which i laminate and they put on a ribbon and they're so proud of these badges and you can go early lunch I believe they learn them better if uh, it's brought to life by writing poems in the garden, by reading in the garden. Well, I think it's important to be a sustainable school for us now and for future generations. We need to think seriously about waste, we need to think seriously about energy use, and we need to teach our children these, these subjects for future. Well, currently one of our Year 9 students won um, a poster competition and f resulting from this um, we got a free Christmas tree that we could plant in the playground in our school. This tree was um, a sustainable tree so it was a Christmas tree that would stay in the playground um, forever.